considered enough information so that they can let that individual vote on the voting machines instead of uh, having them vote provisionally. Um, do you have any, any thoughts, any questions about that? I think those are reasonable. Okay. Could you give a, a, an example using names? Yeah, certainly. Um, let's say um, the individual is um, Mary Jones on the ID and she is um, Mary Smith in the poll book. Obviously the last name doesn't match, but if there is a matching date of birth on the ID and the poll book, or there's a matching address in the poll book and the, uh, the address, or the ID, that that should be considered a match. The name substantially conforms and the individual be permitted to vote. I, I would like to point out that um, in no other situations does the um, address have to match on the ID. There's a lot of folks who, who are concerned about that. It's not a requirement. Uh, it would only be in situations like this, sort of extenuating circumstances, where we can't have a, a ready and obvious match. And, and it's my understanding that our direction would also apply to other cultures who take on the mother's maiden name. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. Jamie? Uh, yes. You, following your same example, mm -hmm. <coughs> if someone would anticipate you know, the maiden name versus a married name and anticipate that being probably born in a marriage license or something, that would obviously make it a lot easier. Certainly. Okay. So. Yeah, certainly. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's just for those individuals who probably are not aware of the mismatch going in okay. um, to hopefully expedite the process for those folks. And, and how, how will our judges of election, mm -hmm. trying to get the right term there, how will they be notified, Nick? How will they, I'm sorry, how will they what? How will they be notified so that they know how to apply sure. this law? Sure, we have uh, training with um, our poll workers. We advise all of them to attend. We probably will have over 90% who will attend. And uh, we will spend a lot of time talking about the photo ID law, specifically what I'm just talking to you all about. Um, and for those that we uh, can't speak to about that don't show up to training, we make sure that they get the information guide at least in their hands so they can reference that. Question, John. Yes. Um, it, is is this something that you've been advised to do from the uh, State Department, or is it uh, uh, a hurdle you saw uh, yourself? We have line? not specifically been directed by the folks at Department of State to do this. Um, they have recognized, though, in conversations with some of the individuals there that you know this is this is potentially could be an issue. And I know there are a lot of other counties across Pennsylvania who are doing this exact same thing. Thank you. Yeah. Ultimately, it's the poll workers who make the decision at the polls, but the Board of Elections for each county has the power to basically um, direct them to how they think they should interpret this law. Very good. Is there a motion? I'll move it. Second. Is there any further discussion? Phyllis? Um, just something that I think could be publicized possibly. I have a, a non-driver photo ID and I thought that it would be renewed on my birthday and I just happened to notice that it would expire on April 30th so I went and took care of it. But if you could just um, advise people that people who already have non-driver photo IDs Sure to check that expiration date. Driver IDs actually are good for a year after they expire, so I don't think that anybody should be caught short. Sure, well, um, you know, in, in answer to that, we do publicize um, every year uh, in the Lebanon Daily News in conjunction with the League of Women Voters, we do publish a, uh, a voter's guide, and certainly. Um, the required forms, or the, I should say the acceptable forms of ID and um, any information regarding expiration dates, and quite honestly it depends on the ID for what is considered a valid um, expiration date, I mean that will be included um, in that guide as well. Because I was shocked to, to realize that I might have an expired photo ID when I never have Right, and, and as Commissioner My Litz, is mid -November, so. yeah, and as Commissioner Litz said, the important thing to remember is um, a PA driver's license or a non-driver's photo ID from PA. Those are good for voting one year after they have expired. For voting oh, only. Yeah. Okay. Well, time to call for the vote. Unless there's other questions, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Thank you, board.